Hey everybody, this is Kristen with Epic Childhood and the Ultimate Lightsaber Guide and today I am going to show you the last five in the new Professor Noggin collection. Um, well, they're not new per se, but they are newly redone. Um, and this is the last of what they finished and have sent me so far. So I look forward to uh, when they complete the rest and the two that they're bringing back that were retired. And that will be exciting to see because I actually we have actually not seen the the two that were retired and they're bringing back. So definitely look forward to that. All right, so let's start off with Professor Noggin's card game 28. Whoops, <laughs> geography of the United States. Okay, so once again, if you haven't seen the other videos from this installment on my channel, um, they are there and. Um, Eventually, I'll get back and link them all in each other's descriptions when I'm all done. But uh, for now, uh, basically, this is uh, the new version of Professor Noggin's card games. They were previously done in kind of like watercolor drawings, and uh, now they are realistic photos. So we've got Hawaii, and then you can see down here it says the island of Kauai and then the name of which game it came from is up here in this kind of little file folder tab and you can see that each uh, card kind of almost looks like there's a file folder on it with the file folder tab there and then um, on the back it's student and scholar and the answers are below rather than on the side um, and no longer is it easy and hard for the questions they are student and scholar and then on every card it will tell you the number of the game and also uh, what's on the front up here and that that is a really nice improvement I really like how they went into so much detail on these cards it really helps a lot it also helps like if uh, your family maybe opens up more than one box at a time when you're doing a like, unit study or, or whatever um, it's very helpful to have them all labeled very nicely. So this is Hawaii, forests, and I just need to let you know that these are not in order because we generally don't put them back in alphabetic order after done playing them. Earthquakes, agriculture card A, that's just the instruction card, agriculture card B, National Parks. There, there is actually a, uh, a whole entire Professor Noggin's National Parks game, but they discontinued it quite some time back, and uh, boy, I've seen it on Amazon, or not on Amazon, but uh, eBay, and they want a pretty penny for the National Parks game. So we have not gotten our hands on that one yet. I'm not going to overpay for them. I'm kind of really hoping that Professor Noggins brings those back, but there's a big delay right now because of the whole pandemic situation. So they're not really, you know, producing all the new stuff they were going to be and, and everything's kind of been majorly delayed. All right, so then we've got New England. Oceans. Rivers card A. Rivers card B. The Mid-Atlantic. The Midwest, the South, Southwest, and the West. We've got deserts, cities, capital cities, canyons and valleys, biggest and smallest. Bays. What city is nicknamed? We've got Alaska, USA, and the world. Mountains card A, mountains card B. Name the state. Lakes card B, 
Thanks, card A. And Islands. All right, so that concludes Geography of the United States, card game number 28. All right, let's move on to history of the United States. Every game comes with a die. We generally don't use them. Once in a while we do, but um, you, if your family likes to compete for points, then it's great to use the die. But if you all just want to do the trivia questions, you don't have to play it as a game, um, as in the instructions and everything. And, and it goes really well, you know, just doing it uh, as trivia. And um, pretty much these card games really fit in to a lot of different, you know, sections of learning for homeschool or Honestly, these don't even have to be just used for homeschoolers. I could see these being used in a classroom or um, some kind of educational after school thing, uh, or if a parent likes to do after school enrichment, um, co ops, play groups, anything that you can think of. Um, but these are really great. I mean, I could even see these being used as like kind of a family icebreaker game at holidays or family gatherings and such. All right, so let's move on to History of the United States, card game number 29. We've got World War II. World War I. Oops, I dropped the lid again. Okay. <laughs> Women in history. Who was I? The Constitution. The Civil War ends. Sports history. Presidents. People of the Civil War. People of the American Revolution. Native Americans. Literature and entertainment. Life before the American Revolution. Inventors and inventions. Historical terms. Famous people. Famous discoveries. Explorers. Explorations in space. Early settlements early conflicts, disasters, declaration of independence, civil war battles, civil war, chronology of events, building the country, American Revolution, African Americans, Lincoln or Washington, all right, so that concludes history of the United States. Oops, card game 29. All right, let's go on to history of art. And actually, this jumps up to 33, so you can see there's a few there that they haven't redone yet. So now we're up to card game number 33. Whoops. Okay. We've got Monet. Modern art. Michelangelo, Mary Cassatt, female artists, Cubism, Canadian art, Byzantine art, Baroque art, art museums of the United States, ancient Egyptian art, American art, ancient Greek and Roman art, impressionism and or impressionists and post-impressionists, card A. 
Impressionist and Post-Impressionist Card B. Italian Renaissance. Leonardo da Vinci. Musée du Louvre. Name this masterpiece. Oh, card A. <laughs> Name this masterpiece card B. Name this masterpiece card C. And name this masterpiece card D. Oh, we've also got name this masterpiece card E. Painting techniques and materials. Rembrandt. Ribbons. Sculpture. The Renaissance. Who am I? World architecture. And the uh, instruction card. All right, that concludes uh, card game number 33. 33, um, I think I said 33 there. Uh, it's been a long day. History of art. <laughs> okay, now we've got Wonders of the World. And then after that, Presidents of the United States. Okay, so we're on card game number 34, Wonders of the World. Empire State Building. Oops. Eiffel Tower, Easter Island, Dams, Coliseum, Cliff Dwellings at Mesa Verde, Wonders of Jerusalem, Brooklyn Bridge, Where in the World? Valley of the Kings, Taj Mahal, Stonehenge, Statue of Liberty, Skyscrapers and Towers, Seven Wonders of the Ancient World Part B, sorry about the noise in the background, Seven Wonders of the Ancient World Part A, Petra, Parthenon, Anchor Wat, New Schwanstein Castle, Nazca Lines, Machu Picchu, Winning Tower of Pisa, Kaaba, Hanging Gardens of Babylon, Hagia Sophia, Great Wall of China, Great Pyramids of Giza, Golden Great oh, Golden Gate Bridge. It is a great bridge, actually. Alhambra and the instruction card. All right, moving on from Wonders of the World to the very last one: Presidents of the United States card game. We're jumping up now to 35. Oh wait, it was actually 33, 34, and 35. Okay. And then hopefully they'll get them uh, back into production very, very soon. And we will be able to see the new ones. All right, that's just the instruction card. All right, here we go. Abraham Lincoln, George Washington. John Adams and John Quincy Adams. John F. Kennedy. Martin Van Buren. Presidential First. Presidential Hodgepodge. Presidential Monuments. Presidential Nicknames. Presidential Quotes. Presidents of the 18th century. Barack Obama. Richard M. Nixon. Ronald Reagan. Slogans. Theodore Roosevelt. The White House. Thomas Jefferson. 
Sorry about my very loud cat in the background. He's 21 years old and he's a Turkish Angora and they tend to be very vocal. Wartime presidents. Where were they from? Who am I? Card A. Who am I? Card B. Becoming the president. Who was president when? Bill Clinton. Dwight Eisenhower. First Lady's card A. First Lady's card B. Franklin D. Roosevelt. George Bush and George W. Bush. And that concludes Presidents of the United States. Uh, please check out my other videos on my channel and um, I will be making more Professor Noggins videos. And uh, please also join us at my Professor Noggins Facebook group. And uh, I will go ahead and link that in the comments and I'll actually go ahead and uh, edit that into the other Professor Noggins remade copies um, videos that I have done. Uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks.